timing. Oh, gonna spot one going towards Wine Cellar. Gonna make out the call. Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. Well, let's get backfire a little bit. Yeah, there you go, Tex. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, they are going to be moving towards B, so it's actually not going to be an A play. Nice paranoia coming out as Will gets caught right in the thick of that flash moving through. Pancakes has to move out of the way as Alir comes around the corner. That's Will tossing that one through. Both players going to drop on the site. Now the B site's been lost, so a spike plant will come through for BBG. Equinox, 3 on 3 retake. They've got some damage dealt. They're actually moving in very quickly, not allowing them to set up in the post plants. That makes things so much harder for them, and you can see it spell out right there. Three quick kills, one, two, three, right in a row. They didn't have a chance. BBG sets up the spike plant, and then almost immediately Equinox is going on the reach stand, but that's where he spent the bulk of his career. He's a fantastic player, really smart, really gifted, and could end up being an incredibly strong player in the world of Valorant if he's given time. So I would actually consider that a positive for LG of anything. But we are finally back into the action. Three on three. The minute and five is left on the clock. BBG reduced down to two, but as is Equinox, it's a back and forth volley in the round. As we find ourselves in this position with pain cakes coming in with the frenzy. Oh. And now only one remains, and I love this move, but yeah. <laughs> Critical gets a little too aggressive to make that move uh, kind of negated. Waiting right around the corner is one, and there's Ooh. Critical with the read. Mina gets dropped. So far, the push is uh, working out quite well for BBG, but it's answered back quickly by Pancakes, but it's just down to two. Will trying to use the dismiss there, and Texas got a dismiss of his own. Lockdown is going to allow them to get that spike down, but no players, of course, will be detained. Empress is popped, showcasing that they are committing to winning the round. That's two ultimates spent, and Texas got the Empress of his own. Whoever gets to jump on the first rain is going to be very, very important to note. Nano Swarm won't even pop here as Q Fat Boy is going to go the other way. Tex will move in through the tree room. Time is ticking and it's ticking quickly, one so they need to act remaining. fast. Fat Boy's going to find one. There's still a player down below. They know exactly where he is. The drop down's good and it's going to be Tex taking down Will. Defuse comes in and will tie things up two to two with Nox finding. So it's going to be Pancakes who's got the. Port Phoenix, who's got run it back. Ouch. That's Mina, who's got that capability. And then they also have Cypher, Cypher's Neural Theft. The problem is they just lost a piece trying to get aggressive over here. Mina trying to get up further on long. I believe they wanted to try to get Tex some ult points as they wanted to go for that ult orb control, but it's not really working out so well for them. There's a Leer into position as well, and they are getting picked apart currently. Pancakes with a classic, actually able to convert on two kills. Just a pistol is all it yeah. takes. And at this point, you might not win the round, but damage is certainly being dealt. That is huge. Upgrade as well for both of those members. Pancakes is injured, so he's going to be the martyr that pushes forward. Does not want to get shot through the smoke, so he'll back away. Try their hand at pushing up through the window, and nobody's up there. They're smoked off for the time being. Rob Wiz is not going to really be within range. Stop this push up from the heaven side. Oh. Do they see one? Pancake, unfortunately, in the wrong direction is where he's looking. Q Fat Boy with two, but Rob Wiz playing towards that wine cellar, and he's got the advantage here. Swinging back through the arches, he'll. It's a bit painful into the, that nano swarm, also known as the digital Molly, and then immediately taken out. So now they're going to force their fight onto the site. Tex comes up empty handed. It's a player we praise coming into this series. The Tex. Not getting off to the greatest start. Now, there's that Hunter's Fury being used, trying to slow down the plant so they can try to get into a better position for the retake. Al Drone follow-up from Dixon as well to look out for those players that could be sitting up on top of Heaven. Bjor is still in tree room. You see Mina's trying to get away, but not today. Cute fat boy at least picking off Flo in the meantime to again keep things at even strength. Oh, they still don't have the spike down. Okay, here comes the plant. A few more members remain for BBG. Wants to stay sight. They haven't gathered any until yet, so we can't quite make that decision yet for, for BBG. Well, there's Tex with an early pickoff onto Bjor. Bjor was actually behind on the play, moving up late on short. Critical through that cyber cage, actually able to drop cute fat boy. And they've got control of the site. They'll get the spike plant in just a moment. This is a tap and a reposition, and oh, Will. Will's going to get into such a good spot here. Now Dixon picks off Rob Wiz. 
but they aren't prepared for Will, who's in this spot. Curveball goes the other direction. Patience is a virtue. Doesn't get the second one, though. It takes him too long to line up the kill onto Dixon. That is a problem. Now, Critical is luckily still here, but it's only Critical, who's left alone in the one-on-two, has to take care of the first target out of A-Main Tex, and as he peeks, spots a Leer starting to rotate through spawn. And that's an Empress pop from Tex, who's now on site. And they've got to be careful, as there is a Killjoy ult in play. As oh, they man. try to stick around on this defense, can they stop it? Can they stick around? Players are going to get stuck in this potentially. One player? Nope, no. Player died before it was even a concern. So 30 seconds left. no one's detained by lockdown, but would have been had aim duels not gone their direction. Cute fat boy gets an angle on Rob Wiz that quite frankly just shouldn't happen. There's the lineup from Critical. Great damage coming through on the ult as well. And now it's all up to Cute looking to close out the half and make it 9-3 in map number one. What's crazy though, our other semifinal is already done. Exet destroyed in the other semifinals. They're going to get a nice little break before having to face off against the winner of this. And more importantly, they get to now watch most of this series play out, which is huge information for the side of Exet. Once again, built by gamers, no surprise, pushing up through the B side, but a lot of control around this mid side as well. Not the greatest economic position for Equinox. Doors closed, and now this B-side is completely under control for Built by Gamers. This is the last round of regulation, so you got to throw it all on the line. Dixon using that onto Fury. Tags one, but can't convert onto a frag. The rest of the team going to be pushing in from the defensive spawn. A great crossfire set up here for Built by Gamers. Lots of great angles to work with, and the knives as well. Unfortunately, Bo almost gets caught, does end up trading out as it's now down to two final players. Make it one as the turret seals the you fate onto run. cute fat boy Dixon with the sheriff. And unfortunately, there are a lot of rebels on the B site. Two players remaining. And all they got to do is wait this out. Spike's ticking. So was the lockdown. Knives come through, but it's the headshot. Sealing. Spot somebody out. As eventually Dixon will take it out. 34 HP for Texan. He's about to see Will. Shot's going to come through. Headshot's definitely the way... Finish that one off. Nano Swarm will delay them for now, but the spike still needs to go down. 30 seconds remaining. Full with two right on the money. They'll walk out the cage and they've got everything they've needed. Spike now starting to be planted. Critical rotating around from behind, but Tex is going to close the gate. Unfortunately, it's his fate that is closed. Down to Dixon, 95 HP, just trying to find shelter in Helen. That seems counterintuitive. As here come the demons. First one's going to get taken down. A couple more remain. Hear that pinging and panging of the ricochets, followed up by the lightning. Now the Al drone going in first, taken out, spotting out that player in the corner. Alir is going to go into the corner. Foe's found one, Will gets another, but there's trade coming in as well for Equinox. So all things considered, this isn't too bad of a round for Equinox. There is a lot that hinges on it. It's the force up and then Gore going to stop the push for now. The mow down is beautiful and those Grass clippings will be pushed to the during the circumstance that we're in. Built by Gamers has been playing a phenomenal ascent map, and it starts with this. Just the push in, the aggression, and the domination. All down to one final player who's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He'll be bouldered to the side. Three members remain for Equinox on the B site. Pain cakes. What can be done with a Marshall? First shot off the money, and then you just got to go to that quick fire rate. The gun has an absurd firing rate. Last player standing. Oh, that is like the most disappointing thing possibly in this game. The Sheriff Dink. It doesn't always happen, but at distance, it doesn't oh. always do lethal damage. And no, two fat boys turn it around with the reload. He's getting away. He's actually managed to find another follow-up headshot. Rob Wiz holding the line with the operator. Raina right around the corner. It's all about the timing on this peak, and that is just well-timed for Rob Wiz. You hear that bell toll as well as the shot comes through. Critical's trying to dodge the pulses coming out from the Hunter's Fury, and does so, and now it all falls down onto the last player standing, the one they know is inside B main. This was an impressive performance, to say the least. David Equinox going for a standard tried and true push towards Hookah. Early on, though, they end up in a 1v1 with that reload coming through on the Frenzy after the Aldrone comes through. It's a little bit awkward, and it results in a one-for-one -one trade. 
Now with the double port play, they realize the A site is soft and they're gonna try and exploit that. So they're gonna charge towards that A site. There's hot hands coming down. Rob Wiz right on the other side with the classic, not able to handle what's coming towards him by way of Mina's frenzy. So BBG, they had a good hold in mid early, but it's a nice adaptation mid round. And there's Dixon as well with the shock dart. That's huge. Will just charges into U-Haul to try and take matters into his own hands. Paint shells go around the corner. There's still a blast pack as well equipped here for Will. So some additional explosive power. And they've actually managed to bring it down to two. Now there's a smoke going in. Dark cover is not thick enough. Unfortunately, blind corner and gets obliterated by several targets that were raiding just around the bend. Tex has snuck his way into the back halls and now over to elbow. Again, it's seeming like this round is lost. I like the move from Rob Wiz. The smoke comes in. There's the flash as well. It's a good combination. Good teamwork coming out. And even foe with a shotgun. Dick coming in from oh Rob Wiz. Goodness. All of a sudden, that round got a little sketchy. He still goes the way of BBG, but that's good. But it's actually... Equinox, despite to having the man advantage, who are heavily tagged up. Ooh. The pistol's working out nicely for Foe and Will. Now, Tex takes out Foe, and there goes Will. So Tex, nice shooting on the round. Again, we mentioned it. Tex didn't really hit the form we expected in that previous map. It'll be a big piece to them finding some success. Run it back is utilized by Mina. Looking for these remaining players. But those kind of feel like maybe that wasn't necessary all things considered. It's down to Bjor in a one-on-three with just a stinger. One down. And that shouldn't happen. Bjor able to find a line of sight onto Tex. Exactly where Equinox are right now, and Tex is not really having the worst game. Bjor finds the early pick on the Pancakes. That's spiked down, and now Will is providing that firepower from the opposite side. They are trying to pinch them in, but really, the left side of the pinch doesn't really have a lot of space to work with. Tex is going to find a utility frag before Critical and Rob Wiz get a part of the conversation. They'll teleport that spike over to safety, but Rob Wiz is in a great position to cause problem. Next playing close. Oh, he tries to get out and around that door. Headshot onto Critical, down to the 3v2 with the showstopper as well. That might be nullified very quickly, and it's actually Mina from the back. Elbow. Takes one out, takes with another, down to Rob Wiz. Knives are good. He's going to try to get up over and under. One player to the right finds its mark. Rob Wiz with three. A beauty of a round for Built by Gamers, and they find their first round of the half. You say that a beauty of yours on just a classic inside hookah. Yours alone. There is no one else on this B site. They're starting to pull people over. In fact, they're pulling everyone over. So they're basically just gambling on this being a B play. And they could be right. You know, you've got a lot of players moving into that left. position. You've still got one over to A. The boom pop pops up oh. immediately. Yor is greeted with a delicious explosion. Satchel around the corner. Good damage being dealt there by the pistol. But it's not enough. Painkeeks tries to port on sight. That's huge. That's actually the spike going down. Now they have to awkwardly scramble to try to get into position. That's a big flash as well coming out. They've still got to deal with this last player on sight, but foe is too low on HP. I'm a disadvantage, but it starts with this really peak. Rob Wiz finds the shot onto Dixon, who is also, I think, looking down the operator's scope, does not react fast enough. Built by Gamers now have an advantage, but Tex is looking to change that very quickly. Oh, Rob Wiz takes him out of the sky, and it's a 5v3 that remains for Equinox. 5v2. Rob Wiz putting in work with that off. Can't quite line up that shot. But still, the damage has been dealt now. One there is a Cypher remaining. on the other side of that double Cyber Cage. And uh, yeah, Rob with a clear as day. So they know that this player is here. So Foe might have been trying to get cute, but now has to dodge and be careful. And can he dodge the third pulse? Yes. He'll take some damage. He's trying to get in that position. Door around the corner was not prepared for Mina. There's Foe and Will, though, chiming in. And just like that, it's down to a two on two. Pancake sneaks through and is going to wait on the other side. Will's rocket delivers a fatal blow to Dixon. Now, Pancakes has the oh, ult available. No. Um, just let it finish. Oh, this is this is awkward. This is uncomfortable. One enemy remaining. Your has to pop off here. Trapped behind dark cover and a cyber cage, and now a tripwire that comes through. Wants to move up. You can hear it there. Takes it out. 
There's one right around the corner. That would be that Cypher. Your has to find this shot and just can't quite line it up. Cute fat boy with a Guardian of all weapons. Using Neural Theft as well to give away the remaining players' positions. Their jet scrambling awkwardly around on the site with an operator has to switch to the sidearm. And now it's all up to Critical, who's managed to line up two. That's three kills on the round. It's now down to just one. Wants to try and tap the spike and get it to halfway. There's a port across. Does he hold it and get it there? Yes, he does. But now he has to find this fight and he's not going to get it. There's no way that Pete comes through. Well played. Number two, then not number one for sure. BBG's lead player, Bjor, who was the first one to make contact, has to back off after taking some damage. I actually like this setup. Foe with that Space Age Bucky waiting around the corner. He's got one playing with him. Oh, this might be awkward. This is awkward. Oh. Rough twist with the judge. Dex really couldn't fire the rocket because it would have been a little bit foolish. Would have taken himself out with the detonation. So BBG has actually put themselves in a decent position. Cute Fat Boy's not going to get away. So Cute Fat Boy gets detained in an attempt to escape. Paincakes has a great setup, though. They're not going to be prepared for, for Paincakes, who's coming in the flank. Now, Dixon going down does allow them an opportunity to try and tap the spike, but there's the flank from Paincakes, who now is the only one left remaining. Great shooting from Will and Critical to make it 7-5 at the half. All things considered, that's not... BBG looking to pick up a pistol and potentially use that to tie the score in the second half. No charges. So... The first pickoff on to Tex. Him and Rob Wiz have already made their way out of the showers. They've washed off the stench of that first half. Cute Fat Boy is still in position, not able to over or deal with the overwhelming force that was pushing out of showers. So we now find ourselves in the form three. This current placement actually ended up working out quite nicely for BBG as well as it assisted him by killing Cute Fat Boy in his backside. Pure turret just sniped pancakes out from heaven. That is impressive. I've seen more turret bear things say. <laughs> we don't want to get into insult territory. He played so well in that series against Energy. Yes. Especially on Split, and the turret was surprisingly potent. So uh, that was impressive. Your picking off Tex, who got aggressive down mid. Understandable play. We saw that work out well for Tex when they played earlier against Dignitas when he was playing most specifically on Haven as Reyna. Again, we did mention that defensively speaking as Ray's. Tex didn't really click the same way that he did as Reyna. When he played Reyna in that series earlier today against Dignitas on Haven, looked fantastic. We'll see, though. BBG retaining player control on the scoreboard for the round. Recon Dart's not going to give away this player's position. Paincakes! A well-placed shot to the dome of Rob Wiz, and Paincakes is still in position to try and find a few more now. Foe keeps his head on a swivel. Turret's going to go down from Bjor. One Again, it's good placement remaining. to spot one trying to come through from the back side of sight. And if they try to jump out window, they're not going to get very far. Cute fat boy and company really defend this hit. Rob Wiz spamming away, but it's actually Will. Cute fat boy. Trying to slow down this push, like you mentioned, playing on this site, but Will oh is there God. with the rocket to the dome. Will gets a fresh nade, chucks it out towards spawn. But that was a copy. That was run it back. So as Last the Phoenix disappears standing. and goes back to the original destination, it now falls all onto Mina. Mina with a quick shot onto Rob Wiz, has to pick up two more. But there's Killjoy hardware on the spike that they have to concern themselves with, and that's one of them right there. The Nano Swarm drops Mina down to 48 feet. Not that Mina had a choice, has to go and take that fight. Great shooting from Mina. But Match point, series point. Potential here to send Equinox home. They're stacked three on the B site with presence for the Ultor, but here comes the Hunter's Fury in question. Third tag not going to connect quite yet, actually tags Rob Wiz instead. Lockdown as well. They'll find one. Rob was going hunting. The hyenas are hungry. He's going to find one, but is there more in the back? Tina, using that clone, having to hop through, and it's all down to Mina. Built by gamers. He smelt blood in the water, and they went hunting. Now Rob Wiz is doing exactly that. They know where Mina's located. It just seems like the inevitable, like Thanos, is around the corner. Rob Wiz, three on.